three talks today. Uh, Melissa will begin with the talk related to her environmental education efforts with gardens as a, as a core element of pedagogy and engagement and, 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 and inspiration in gardens for environmental education. And then we will have Jason Dow, who presumably will show up on time. He'll be talking about his work with wilderness and the similar to what you might have seen with Jared Alden, I don't know if you in this talk, where the, this alternative notions of wilderness because of the 50th anniversary of the building of that. And he's looking at the Sierra Nevada. The next, uh, the next slide out there. And then Roger will speak about his work with a, an attempt early phase but an ambitious attempt to connect the Christian community of this country to the environmental issues of our time in a way that he feels that we must agree uh, that the community has not fully engaged. So that's where he's going to be. Uh, Roger, you have to Thank you guys all for being
education is there then than the school yard itself, the area directly outside of the school.
by the Dr. Wyatt Smith in 2013, it looked at two elementary school gardens in Cuba, Australia, and both of these gardens had very disciplinary um, integrated curriculum for the students. These produce to, to, to help the students launch their very, very integrated. And in the years following, the focus of the garden implementation, they saw that the students in school national test for their writing and numeracy and science. Interestingly enough, grammar and spelling went down so slightly after the implementation of these gardens, which is interesting, I think, but also as you can notice that that's the trend that we see in Australia in all schools at that age at that time. And so we are going to provide an excellent place for students to develop some of their social skills. An example of this is that um, doing the hands on work to maintain school Thank you. 
health and nutrition and sustainability and conservation of the ecosystem. But there's still a need for more validity in the research and researching a broader age. So on the first slide, I have my references, but I really have a lot for you guys to look at. So if anyone is interested in my references, I have a few printouts of that sheet. So if you'd like one, please take one. I can also email it out. And thank you very much for coming to my presentation. I'd love any questions that you guys might have.
guys that are pretty good from like all the other crews that there aren't. Maybe there could be they could be better. There could be something more. If you're saying you did get into training involved in the technology, you just Here we are in 
suburban setting. It's you have a little bit of a rural that you can buy. And and we don't have to do many gardens. And the gardens are in the more progressive schools. And and I can't help I, I just wonder why. And I don't know if it's because the director is not into it or if it's because everyone has a backyard garden anyway. So maybe there's no real need to, to explore that at the school because the house suffices. Well, I guess I'm wondering if there's a different area than definitely more rural areas. Like the, the nature, there's a garden piece, but it also is the nature of the egg from the small ecology area that it's used to in school. And so, I don't know, I, I think that like, my rural upbringing, I think about that all the time and not really necessarily a reason that's what it is. I don't know. I would imagine that there's less of a in areas where there's more natural. It's just more part of the kids' experience. Yeah. Probably. That's it. That's it. I'm going to go after that question a little bit more bigger to try and find out because I'm also interested in I would love to know where we're at as a nation of five region. Well, you can imagine that you be have decided with the terms of the that work is not going to be done. You might not be. <laughs> yeah. uh, just like, should you think about what you said in the last question? Like, well, in Mexico, when we were in the market, the degree where I was on the property, their school had And so, I don't know. Well, yeah. But that's interesting. I'm limited in my in-depth knowledge of being that district, but people think I've been a good educator. 